Hello everyone, this is DA from A Academy and today this video is about the very important and the famous theorem named as minimizing vector theorem. So the statement of the theorem is that if we have an inner product space V and, and let A be a non-empty complete convex subset of V. So now we have A that is a non-empty complete convex subset of inner product space V and now we are going to take an element of V outside from A. And this is an element X that is in V but not in A. So we can say that X belongs to V by a v minus a so the claim of the theorem is that there is a unique element in a such that the norm of this element the unique element i will represent it in this set so the norm of every element of v other than a and the norm of the difference of these element is equal to the infimum of x that represents a specific element of V that is not in A and Y prime represents that every element of A. So what is the claim of the theorem minimizing vector theorem is that if V is an inner product space and A is a known empty complete convex subset of V and we'll take an element X that is in V but not in A then there is a unique Y in A such that this thing happens and we can also say that that Y that is that is unique element in A is closest to that X so we'll represent this statement as here so now we're going to prove this so let's start the proof so let D is equal to the infimum of every element of Y that is in A with the specific element X in V that is not in A. So we'll just name it that D is equal to infimum of this thing in order to be more compact and precise. So the very first thing that we have done here that we have named this infimum, this whole thing is equal to D. Now we'll use the definition of the infimum that there is a sequence such that of the term like that, that if D is the infimum of this X minus Y where every Y prime where Y prime is, is an element of A. So by definition of the infimum there is a sequence of this of this type that norm of X minus Y1, norm of X minus Y2, norm of X minus Y3. So this sequence eventually converges to that D. This is by definition of the infimum. And we can also say that by definition of infimum there is a sequence in A like Yn. So we can write here that y n is a sequence in, in A. So such that this is a sequence or we can say that such that D is equal to the limit of this type of sequence because this sequence converges to D. So by definition of the convergence, we can say that D is the limit of this type of sequence. So we can write it as, so this is the extraction of this all of the discussion that d is the limit of x minus y n where what is y n y n is a sequence in a so so this is the useful information now and we'll use this information to show that y n this is a cauchy sequence in a because it is given that a is a non-empty complete convex subset so for using the information we will we'll show that that y n uh, is a cauchy sequence in a so for this uh, first of all, we'll look at the parallelogram law. So the parallelogram law says that x bar minus y bar, the norm squared time equals to 2, the norm of the first element squared plus the norm of the second element squared multiplied with the 2 minus x bar plus y bar and the norm squared. Why I'm using the bar here just to just to make the difference from the elements that are using here. So this is just the definition or we can say this is just the parallelogram law. We'll use this law here and we'll replace x bar with. So we'll use x bar here 
y m minus x and y bar is y n minus x. Why? We, so why we're taking this? Because we are going to show that y n this is a Cauchy sequence in A, and for the Cauchy sequence or for the definition of the Cauchy sequence, we'll take m and n subscript here in order to prove it. So for in, instead of using x bar here, we'll use this term, and instead of using y bar here, we'll use this term in the parallelogram law. Now substituting it, so what we'll get? So now we have in place of x bar, we have y m minus x. In place of y bar, we have y n minus x. And again, x bar, y m minus x, and y we have y n minus y m minus x. So it's time for manipulation. Now it will be x with cancel out with this x so we'll get y m minus y n here it is y m minus x and the next term will remain the same as well so the last term will be manipulated because the x can be cancelled out here we get y m plus y n no it can't be it's a minus 2 x so we'll get this term here so now as we know that A, that is a complete convex subset of the inner product space V. So, first of all, I'll get, as this whole term is a square term, so I will, I will take two I'll common out of it. So it will become four, and there will be y m by, by two and y n by two. So we can use the definition of the convex here, that y m by two, y n by, by two, and for here minus x that is whole norm squared so this will be belongs to a so this is this must be an element of a by definition because a is a convex set and this satisfies the definition because y m are taken from a y n are taken from a one by two is a constant taken from zero between zero and one and 1, 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 will take 1 as well. So this is indeed an element of A. Now we can say that, we can say that if we are going to use this, D is equal to the infimum of this thing here. Because D, what is D? D is the infimum and every element in A of this type must be greater than or equal to this thing. So we can say that because this y m minus y m plus y n because two is taken out so I'll, I'll write this here and we can say that one by two y plus y n is an element of a so this must satisfy the definition of the d as well so we can write here now so this side is less than or equal to this side y because of this because of this d because of this d the d is the definition of the infimum and all of that so now as m and n as m and n are approaches to infinity or we can say that we take elements that are far 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 away from the beginning so what should done to this this will be equal to d and this will be equal to d. So 2d squared plus 2d squared, we get 4d squared minus 4d squared. This will be equal to 0. So as m and n approaches to infinity, this whole thing is equal to 0. We can say that we can say that this whole thing is equal to 0 because this is the norm squared. So we can write here this approaches to 0 as m and n approaches to infinity. So this implies that this satisfies the definition of the Cauchy sequence that y n because if this approaches to approaches to zero we can say that that y n is a Cauchy sequence in a since a is complete so by definition of the completeness that limit must be in a as well so we can say that that y n approaches to y and y belongs to a so this is the information that we'll get now. So we know that by definition that D is the limit of this type of sequence that norm of x minus y n and, and approach to infinity. So 
as we know that by the continuity the limit can be going inside so if we're going to manipulate this that if limit goes inside the what should happen because x will be unaffected by the limit and if limit will be applied on y n so limit on y n when approach to infinity will be y so so for right here in order to so this is the definition by definition that we extract so the limit goes inside where it will be x minus limit n approach to infinity y n and the limit y n n approach to infinity will be y so it will be x minus y and so d is equal to x minus y no and y is in a that was discussed just above this argument so Till now we have proved that if A is a non-empty complete convex subset of inner product space V and X is taken out from A uh, but in V so there is so there is a Y in A so this is Y and this Y is in A this is by the definition of the Cauchy sequence so there is a, a there is an element Y in A such that the norm of X minus Y is equal to the infimum and this is what the definition what we have named infimum that is equal to d so so now the target is to show the uniqueness of this element y and we'll show this uniqueness by the contradiction that there are two such y in a that satisfy this property so now towards the uniqueness of y so let's suppose that there are two y such y in a that satisfy this condition that d is equal to norm of x minus y what is d d is the infimum of the norm of the difference of the elements of x minus y bar so this is the parallelogram law now we're going to replace y bar here with y minus x and y bar with y naught minus x so now we're going to manipulate it this x and this x will be cancelled out and this minus x and minus x will be added we get minus 2x so we'll get so here again we'll use the definition of the convex set that that this as a is a convex set so this must also be an element of a and by the definition of d infimum the definition of the infimum so we'll use the here that this thing must be less than or equal to this thing so but there there is a there is a thing that that must be noticed here that as as we know that norm of x minus y is, is infimum of this as we have proved in the first part that this x minus y is the infimum of the norm of x minus y bar where y bar is is is, is an element of a so for element element of a we know this thing and this is equal to d so this is true for for that unique y and here y is that unique element y bar y naught is a unique element so we'll use here we'll use this definition here that this thing is equal to d square by this definition and this is also equal to d square by this definition because y and y naught are claimed to be both uh, elements of a that search for this this definition so this is equal to d squared and this is equal to d squared so 2 d squared plus 2 d squared minus 4 d squared is equal to zero eventually so so what we'll get here that y minus y norm norm square is equal to zero so this is equal to zero and by the definition of the norm if if uh, the norm of anything is equal to zero will if we imply that that element is itself equals to zero so we can say that that y minus y naught is equal to zero and if it is equal to zero then y is equal to y not so there is a unique y in a there can't be two elements in in a that satisfy this property so so we have proved that if a is a known empty complete convex subset of inner product space v and we take an element x from v that is not in a then there is a y there is a unique y in a such that that norm of x minus y is is equal to the norm of is equal to the infimum of norm of x minus y bar with, with every element of, of a so this is the minimizing vector theorem and we'll, we have proved it so this is for now looking for most of the videos and you can subscribe this channel in order to watch more upcoming videos we will meet in the next video till then take care goodbye